Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I've got a haul to share with you. Most of these items I bought in the month of May. A couple of them I did buy in April as well. So as I usually do, I thought I would share with you what I got. So first of all, I made an order from WOW Embossing Powder. They've started to stock Pink and Main products, which is really great. And they are a little bit difficult to get hold of here in the UK. So I picked up this Thanks die. Really like the font on this Thanks. And also I really like that you get the bubble with it as well. I really like using those kind of um, dies now. So I quite often like to cut the the actual wording out of cardstock and then the bubble with vellum. I think that's quite pretty. So looking forward to using that. Next up, I made an order with little things from Lucy's cards, picked up some new embellishments. So first of all, I got a pack of the sprinkles in Unicorn Crush. These are really, really pretty. So you've got kind of unicornish colors here, I suppose. And um, so you've got stars and little hearts, just really, really cute, perfect for shaker cards, but you could definitely just sprinkle these over a card as well. And then I got a pack of the Crystal Collection in Tinkerbell. These are really pretty colours as you can see. So you've got aquas and blues and pinks and purples. Just my kind of colours really. And so you get jewels in here but you also get pearls as well. Next up I got a pack of the Cherry Blossom in Ice Crystal. These are like flowers, like quite cupped flowers. So I'm not 100% sure how they're going to work on cards because they might be quite dimensional because they're so cupped. But they're really, really pretty and I really like this clear sparkly colour. And then next up I picked a pack of the Ice Crystal Sequin Mix-Up. I have used these already. These are really, really pretty. Again, they're kind of a clear sparkly colour. Really, really nice. Next up, I made an order from Dice to Die For and I got two Lawn Fawn products. So first of all, this one here is the Simply Sentiments. I really like it because it's just a plain sort of generic font I suppose and I quite like it because it's fairly small in height but it's quite wide you've got quite a big, big gap between the letters and so it takes up quite a bit of space on a card like if you like doing a landscape card for example quite a lot of space across in a landscape way just really really nice and definitely can be used for loads of different occasions and it's quite a unisex font as well and then I picked up the Simply Celebrate set I really liked this when it first came out and I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to get it but I think it would be really good in particularly in particular sorry for masculine cards I really like these rain these um, rainbows I, don't, I can't talk today I'm so sorry these balloons and then also the candles I think would work really well with that happy birthday sentiment but I really like the stars as well and the flowers the cute little birds and you've got a nice floral image as well and I probably would sort of color them in maybe a rainbow order maybe that's why rainbow was in my head but and I like that sentiment there as well Next up, I made an order from Bumbleberry Crafts and I got two new products from Birch Press Design. I saw Jennifer Maguire use these and kind of fell in love with these cute little sentiments. So I got the Hello Sugar Script first of all. I got the smaller size as opposed to the bigger ones. They are really quite small, um, really, really tiny in actual fact, but they are quite a good price point considering, um, you know, the size of them. So. I really liked them. I might pick up some of the bigger ones in the future, but I do quite like just having a smaller sentiment on a card as well. So I really like the font on that. So that is the hello one. And then I also picked up the hugs one as well. I think these probably are the two sentiments that I use the most. So really, really nice. Next up, I got two items from Seven Hills Crafts and I got the new release from Concord 9th. Um, well, two items from the new release. So I got the Bitty Burst Turnabout stamp set. We didn't get it here in the UK last month. I think it was exclusive to Concord 9th and then they've now brought it out sort of as a regular product that you can purchase. And I really, really like it. I really like that it's a smaller turnabout stamp. The other ones are quite large, uh, which are nice as well. But I think this is just a really nice sort of simple detail that you can add onto a card. You could just use it as one sort of layer like this if you wanted to with a sentiment inside, um, even if you didn't want to sort of turn it about and use different colors and things like that. So really looking forward to using that. And then I also picked up the Bitty Thank You dies as well. Again, I thought this this was quite a nice font, something a little bit different, but I like that they are sort of join up letters and they're not too big either. So you could use this in the middle of this um, stamp here if you wanted to as well. 
Next up, I made an order from Paper Maze and I got a few Doodlebug items. First of all, I got a pack of the Tiny Hearts Shape Sprinkles from Doodlebug. I do already have a pack of these. I don't think I ever shared them on a haul video because I think I just picked them up as a separate item. But I absolutely love these. These are so, so tiny, but they're really, really cute and you get all of the different colours there as well. And I've used them a couple of times and I am getting palpitations <laughs> in the fact that I'm using them, which is silly. You should definitely use the products that you have. You know, I don't believe in sort of stroking things and you won't use them, but I do have a particular fondness for Doodlebug. And so I did go ahead and pick up another pack of those. And then I did also get the Heart of Gold um, Sprinkle as well as you can see these are hearts really really nice they're kind of quite um holographic i suppose i'm not sure if that's the word but very shiny and um, but i really like the different size of them and i love the shape of that heart as well and then i got a, quite a few packs of stickers i don't tend to use stickers on cards although i definitely could but i use them quite a bit in packaging so like i add them to tags or on the front of like presents and things like that or envelopes and I actually use these smaller ones here in my Filofax as well just to kind of brighten it up a little bit so I got first of all the mini icons and the normal icons in the sweet summer range so really really cute little images here you've got quite a lot of as this is, like this is the summery one so you've got ice creams and things like that and then they've all got little faces on them which is really cute the flip-flops the umbrella and some drinks there as well and you get two sheets in the mini icons pack and then in the main icons pack these are all on cardstock which is quite nice and I think they would probably be a bit nicer maybe for cards if I wanted to use them in that way but I tend to use like I said the mini icons in my Filofax which is a really really cute little images the little watermelon there in the sun and the tree the palm tree even that's really really cute so that was the sweet summer collection and then i also picked up the stickers from the so punny friends this is a little bit of an older collection and um, well i say old it was still this year but i'm um, older than the two newer ones this was for valentine's day and i wasn't going to pick it up but i just absolutely fell in love with these cute little images the scissors and the tape there they got the glue and the envelopes but i absolutely love these cacti here just really really cute and you've got the typewriter and the socks and things like that just really really cute and i did pick up the mini icons as well and then last but not least i picked up the hello collection so again i got the mini icons and the icons as well these have all got gold foiling on them i'm not a huge fan of gold i have to be honest with you but i think they work really nicely in this collection so you've got like cameras and birds and bows and flowers just really really nice and i really like the color combination on these stickers as well so really looking forward to using those and then last but not least, I picked up the travel stamp platform from Tim Holtz. I have seen, obviously, everyone using the normal stamp platform. It's a little bit big for me to use on my desk. I don't really have a need to use the larger one, but I thought I would go ahead and get the travel one. And actually, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, up until now I've used Misty's and I'm still really really happy with the Misty's no problem whatsoever however my normal size Misty has stopped being able to double stamp in the same place so when I stamp it once it's absolutely fine but then if I go to stamp it again it's not always in the same place I'm not sure if there's a problem with the hinges so I thought I'd go ahead and get the Tim Holtz travel platform just to um, use it if I want to double stamp and in particular I thought it would be really good for background stamps that's mainly probably why I used it for the sort of the cling background stamps and I've used it a few times really really happy with it it's a really nice size it doesn't take up too much space on a desk and it was a pretty good price point as well I did manage to get hold of it from Joanna Sheen I think there's still a little bit of a difficulty in get it, getting hold of it here in the UK but they had it in stock so really happy that I managed to get hold of that so that was a look at everything that i purchased in the month of may and april thank you so much for watching links to the products will be in the description bar here on youtube and also over on my blog thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon